So for reinforcement learning, it's our last type, okay? And this is an area that a lot of people are going into now, which is uh, being able to reinforce uh, uh, what things are going on. And uh, this is also something that you see in the real world, okay? So basically in reinforcement learning, it means you don't have labels, okay? Just like in unsupervised learning, but you do get some type of feedback, okay? So for example here, uh, when you have a, a drone, okay, that has some information on board about the, the camera, GPS, or whatever, okay, um, it has this X vector, okay? And um, what we can do is provide it with some idea of how it's doing, okay, which we're gonna call its reward function. Like we're trying to do the stupid thing and use a drone to deliver a package, okay? Because that's really unfuel efficient, but never mind. Okay, then we, we can say, oh, are you getting closer to your destination or not? So uh, if we say the closer you get, the more reward you get, then we have a way of telling the drone without telling its direction right or wrong, okay? Just giving a score whether or not they're progressing towards a goal. And there are lots of great instances of that, okay? Anytime you play a game and it has a score, basically that's reinforcement learning, right? Because it's not telling you you won the game or not. In fact, there are lots of games you can't win, right? It's just uh, uh, running all the time. Uh, but that, that can be a, a way of doing that, okay? Well, I don't need this right now, okay. Okay, so um, to do that, we're gonna learn about this in week seven. I'm not gonna read this here, but there are lots of popular uh, things of this sort. Like if you play Dota or you play, uh, Go, or maybe some of you play that, um, or the area of uh, deep uh, generative adversarial networks, those are all reinforcement learning type of problems. Okay, so uh, with that, we came to the end of our in-class lecture. Not so bad for the first lecture, I hope. Okay, and in the post-tutorial, uh, this should say post-class, but uh, post-tutorial, sorry. Okay, after you have to, uh, your tutorial, but uh, in this week, we don't have tutorial, obviously it's week one. So uh, you can already go ahead to do this. So this is a, a misnomer for this particular class. So I'm just going to, uh, um, yeah, just dis disregard that and say this is like a post-class, okay? So after this in-person uh, class, in-class session, okay? Okay. Um, then you will have to uh, watch the rest of the videos if you haven't already. Okay, and watch this video. Um, you can get to it uh, again on the video page here. Okay, we again uh, encourage you to watch it um, from, from within uh, the system here. So you just double click this and then it's full screen and then you're off to the races, okay? So um, this will give you a, a, a different feel for what machine learning is about um, in a different way. So Pe Pedro is a very famous uh, machine learning expert at the University of Washington, and uh, he's got a, a very good I idea about how to classify all the different machine learning algorithms. Okay, so we're coming to the end here. So uh, you have to do all of these other questions when you finish this, okay? Uh, these are your post questions, so you'll have another assessment that you'll have to do here, okay? But if we're done, what we have to do is do this declaration of independent work, okay? So this is what I alluded to on the slides, okay? So when I uh, talked about the slides, okay? I said, you do need to make sure you're following the information, freedom of information rule and the Pokemon Go rule, okay? And um, there is another rule that's not uh, in here that's uh, important, which is the no sponge rule, which basically means that you shouldn't let uh, your teammates in your projects um, do all of the work or to do all of the work for them, okay? Everyone has to play an equal part, okay? So that's the no sponge rule that will help you with uh, one of the uh, post assessments, okay? All right, let's go back. So I'm gonna sign my ID, uh, A234567, X, okay? All right, continue. Um, and I'm gonna have to certify that I follow the class policy. Please, please do your work to certify this. Think about whether you follow the class policy, okay? So if you refer to other web sources or other things, you uh, still have followed class policy if you use the Pokemon Go rule and you wait for 30 minutes and you don't take notes, okay? That's important because we need to make sure that is in your head, okay? If you uh, didn't follow past policy, just click that, uh, enter your comments, uh, 
for some reason. Okay, you have to uh, tell us why, and the TAs will forward that to my attention. Okay, this is really important because in the e-learning scenario, we want you to pay attention to the integrity and honesty that you're taking this course with. Like I said in the um, lectures, we have a huge cohort for this course, all right? And it's really, really important that uh, you take the time to actually learn the material. Plenty of other students who want to learn this material, but because the quota is too high, uh, you know, too low to accept everyone with demand, they are cast out, okay? So please do the right thing. Use the time appropriately. Uh, save enough time to do all of the work that you need to do for this class, okay? Okay, I'm gonna submit this. Okay, that will come back to me later, all right? And then uh, you have to explain it uh, in your comments, okay? So if you had anything here, uh, you can write it here, okay? Instead of in the comment section. The comment section actually is just to raise to your TA. Right now we don't have TAs for the course, they'll start in week three. So all of the comments that you raise in these boxes come to me, okay? I'll see them and I'll try to reply them uh, as I can, okay? There's a lot of you again, so it's a little bit hard, okay? for some particular reason, okay? Okay, and um, let's see, there is at least one other one, okay? So this is really important for us, and this is because we want to improve the course, okay? So if you find that there are other websites that did a better job of teaching you the content than we did, then let us know, okay? Uh, your course sucks. Uh, uh, I don't know, Andrew Ung's is much better, okay, uh, then you can also put that in there, okay? So then we'll go back and say, well, Andrew's course is pretty good, what can we learn from that, all right? And we'll try to make this, okay? This is a learning problem for us as well about how to deliver this course appropriately, okay? So we finalized the submission and, I, you know, I think our answers are okay, so I'm going to send it in. Okay, so make sure you have things done correctly. If you uh, send email or comment to me, Min, I made a mistake. Um, I'm sorry, there's probably not a lot I can do about it because uh, again, there are too many people. We, we can't make a lot of exceptions for this. Try your best. And uh, if you mess up, don't worry. There's plenty of other notebooks uh, to do that. Okay, so uh, we finished our uh, first assessment. Okay. Um, you see it's finished. I can view my submission and I can go on to do the next post, okay, the post assessment. And that means you have to watch this talk and answer some questions. Okay.